guys, it's Jess and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very happy and productive start to your week. And for this week's video for brain food, I'm going to show you guys how to make some really delicious chocolate nice cream. Yes, nice cream because it's a really healthy take on traditional chocolate ice cream. And it's getting really warm in Australia. But if you guys aren't in Australia and it happens to be getting closer to winter, that's fine because who says that ice cream has to be restricted to hot weather? I mean, come on guys, really? Okay, so it's a really, really simple recipe. There's only a couple ingredients to include, so let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna blend all of the ingredients together with my nutritional blender. So I'm gonna put everything into this cup. And to start, I'm gonna take two bananas, peel them and just break them up into a little bit smaller pieces and put them in. So I love using bananas because they're a really natural way to sweeten the ice cream. And it doesn't actually taste like banana flavored ice cream at all. It's really strange, but if anything, we're gonna add some cacao and that seems to just overpower the banana taste. So if you guys don't really like bananas, I know not everybody does, I love them. <laughs> but if you don't, don't worry, because you won't really taste them. So I'm just gonna break them up and pop them in there. Now also to naturally sweeten the nice cream, I'm going to add five pitted dates. So I've just taken out the pip and I'm just gonna put them in like that. You don't even have to dice them because like I said, it's all gonna get blended up. And that's just a really good way to sweeten the ice cream. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of raw cacao. So this is gonna make it all nice and chocolatey for all my chocolate lovers. Love chocolate. So two tablespoons. Why do I always spill things on the counter? Okay, two tablespoons of the cacao. And then I'm using one tin of coconut cream. So there's 140 mils in this tin. So it's not that much, but this will make the nice cream nice and creamy and smooth. It'll give it that ice cream texture that we're all used to. And eh, if I can just open that tin up, I feel like I need to get back into the gym and work my arm muscles. Okay, I'm just gonna put that into the mixture now and then I'm also going to add just a little bit of milk as well because the cream isn't really enough to bind all of the ingredients especially not in my blender I think it's getting old it just it doesn't like doing a lot of work so I need to help it out there with just adding a bit more liquid so I'm just gonna add a quarter of a glass of rice milk but if you have coconut milk or almond milk at home, that also works really well. Or dairy milk if you guys aren't vegan and you want to use that instead. Okay, and the milk magically appears from out of my fridge. I forgot to take it out. Okay, so I'm going to put around a quarter of a glass in there. And then just see how you go. You might need to add a little bit more. Try not to add too much at the start because then it'll be really runny and it just takes a lot longer to harden. And now I'm just going to put the lid on and turn my blender on and mix it all together. So, block your ears, guys. <laughs> okay, that looks good to me. I'm just gonna clean up my bench and then I'm going to put it into a Tupperware and pop it into the freezer. Okay, so I've just got a glass Pyrex dish here and I'm going to pour the mixture in and I'm going to put it in the freezer I think it needs a couple of hours to harden or get creamy enough that you can actually scoop it out so it's not so runny. At the moment it looks a lot like my chocolate mousse that I made recently. So I'd say a couple of hours and if I accidentally over freeze it then I can always just leave it out and it'll defrost a little bit so it's easier to scoop out. Oh this looks so good, oh my gosh, yum. All you chocoholics out there, thumbs up this video for the love of chocolate. Okay, now I am going to pop the lid on and I'm going to put it in the freezer. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Oh, it's really cold. Alrighty, I'm just going to pop the lid off. This looks amazing. Wow. Oh, I haven't made this in a little while, so <laughs> I hope I did it correctly. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Yum, and it just scoops up so nicely. Mmm. I'm going to give myself a couple of scoops. I've been good this week. I can afford it. <laughs> Yum. It is so rich and delicious and very chocolatey. I love it. Also, if you guys don't want to blend up the dates, you can actually dice them quite finely and then you get those little chewy bits inside as well. So 
I've done that before and it's really yum as well. Alright guys, if you enjoyed today's nice cream video for brain food, then thumbs up so let me know. This is so good, I don't want to put it down. And also if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel already, click my face over there. So you can join in on the Jessica Cat fam. And also you can check out previous videos by clicking the cards up there or also clicking the image over there. Also, I'll leave a link to my study skills book, The High School Survival Guide, for you guys in the description box below. And if you guys recreate, please, please recreate this recipe because it's so yum. If you guys do, then take a photo and upload it onto Instagram. Just tag me at studywithjess or use the hashtag studywithjess as well. I'll see you on Wednesday with another video. And until then, love you and bye.